is wedding rehearsal. Oh my gosh, we're here! This weekend is Amanda's wedding weekend. Amanda's my sister, if you guys don't already know that. And me and Alexa are gonna be bridesmaids in her wedding, and I just wanted to film this weekend because it's gonna be a really fun, special one. We just took a little road trip down to her wedding venue. But anyways, we just got here, and I don't know what we're gonna do yet, so I don't know what's going on, but. Update, we're in a hotel room now. I'm sharing a room with Alexa, and then my whole family is also staying here. We just got back from the wedding venue. This is gonna be my first wedding that I'm like actually old enough to remember, so so I'm super excited. I'm also really exhausted because I feel like I've been doing things constantly for the past couple days and not getting enough sleep. And we also woke up super early and went to bed really late last night trying to get some like last minute things done. I literally just knocked out for only 20 minutes because we're about to go to dinner. We're gonna go get Chinese food, I think. I'm not even hungry, but I wanna spend time with my family. So we're gonna go. And she's staying behind because he worked all night last night and he's exhausted, but let's go get some food. Saturday, March 30th, and Amanda is getting married today. Today is gonna be a long day, and it's gonna be so fun. I also just woke up, and I look a mess. It's 5.50 in the morning. We're about to leave to go to the wedding venue because Amanda gets her hair done, I think, at 6.30 or 7. So we want to, like, be there to hang out with her all morning. But I'm in my PJ still. I already have everything packed, and it's freezing, and I don't want to move. Yeah, that's the plan for right now. And my skin is doing terrible. Do you guys see that? I think because I was, like, PMSing, and it's really annoying. Anyways, I'm gonna get dressed, get ready to leave. We're gonna leave in about like 10 minutes. I have so much stuff with me right now, just to get ready for today. I have a whole luggage. We're making a quick pit stop to Walmart. This feels criminal, like going to Walmart at 6.30 in the morning. It's so weird being here so early. But we're just getting a couple last minute things, per usual. They're like the only ones here, except for the workers and all like restocking. <laughs> I'm with the bride to be. I'm here. <laughs> We've been here since yeah, seven. Seven, seven o'clock. We have to be ready by one. Wow. Everyone's getting their hair and makeup done, and I'm gonna be doing my own hair and makeup. I'm gonna do it now because I feel like I should get it out the way already. And we're in this little bridal suite, and it's so cute. Amanda's sitting over here, and these are the scariest stairs I've ever seen, but this is how everything is laid out, and everyone's like getting ready and eating. And I'm really excited. Amanda, you're gonna be married. I know. Let me show them your, your robe. We got Amanda oh, yeah. this cute robe. There's bride in the back, and then these cute little yeah, bride slippers. slippers. Yeah, All of the bridesmaids are wearing this yeah. robe. Yeah. Robe for the bridesmaids. Yeah. 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 So cute. Yeah. Alexa got hers done, it looks so good. Now I need to do my hair. I might get it done, but Alexa's hair looks so good. Literally, that is so cute. So I think I should also get my hair done. I need to show you guys my hair.
day after the wedding. The past 24 hours have been insane. So I have not vlogged today because it's been so busy and tiring. Basically last night after the wedding, I stood up most of the night because Andrew partied way too hard and I like had to take care of him and just make sure everything was okay with him and then I had to drive three hours or like two and a half hours all the way back home um but anyways it's four o'clock and I'm just ready to take a nap like I need to nap right now so I'm gonna lay down and nap for a little bit also happy Easter today is literally Easter so I'll give you guys the wedding details after I lay down and have a good old nap I just napped for hours and now it's like almost 10 p.m. and I'm I'm still exhausted. So I'm gonna talk about the wedding a little bit while I do my skincare. Cause honestly, I don't even know what I filmed yesterday. And I just wanna like fill you guys in. But before I talk about the wedding, I wanna tell you guys a little bit about my skincare. I finally went back to the dermatologist and they gave me the same stuff that I was using before, which is like a year and a half ago. So for my skincare, I've really been trying to keep it simple. Cause I feel like I've already talked about this before, but I was like breaking out really bad. I still am a little bit. This is like the worst area usually, but I think it's gotten a little bit better. My dermatologist put me back on clomidomycin and tretinoin. So lately I've only been using these two products for my skin and then like moisturizer and sunscreen. So I usually just put this on and then put the slightest amount of tretinoin on. And then I go in with the CeraVe moisturizer. This is the CeraVe PM facial moisturizing lotion and it's ultra lightweight. I love this stuff so much. It feels so moisturizing. I used to use the CeraVe a tub and it was like a thick cream but this one is so much better so i'm so happy i got this but yesterday was one of the best days ever it was so beautiful to see amanda and jeff get married i'm trying to like recap what happened yesterday because i don't even know where to start like yesterday was such a long day it was my first wedding and i didn't really know what to expect because I've never been to a wedding before. The wedding venue was so pretty. It was in like a barn ranch area and the view was beautiful. The weather was so nice. It was really windy, so I feel like the pictures are probably gonna have like my hair blowing all over the place. And guys, I caught the bouquet. Somehow it was me. I had an advantage because I was taller than most of the girls there, but I literally turned into like a full on basketball player and caught it in the air. It was like, Insane. Maybe the next wedding I attend will be my own. I'm just kidding, that probably won't happen for a really long time. Um, my camera just died, so I have to switch to my other one. But yeah, like I was saying, it was really crazy. But unfortunately, I lost the bouquet. Like I did everything in my power last night to like keep track of it. And then all of a sudden, when it was time to like pack up my stuff in the car, I think that's when I forgot about it. Like I literally carried it around with me everywhere, along with like the bouquet I walked down the aisle with. I think I left it behind and someone probably threw it away. Because I went back this morning and it wasn't there. It was nowhere to be found which is really sad but it is what it is but i did bring home one of the like table decorations so i'll keep these as like a memory the other thing that i'm really sad about last night is that i feel like i didn't take that many pictures or videos i was just looking through my camera and i was like what the heck i have like nothing it was very much living in the moment which i don't regret well, I kind of regret because I feel like I have nothing to like remember the night of. I feel like I didn't take enough pictures with Amanda. I feel like I didn't take enough pictures with my family. Everyone was like doing different things. So it was kind of hard. Overall, I had such a good time. And most importantly, Amanda had so much fun. And I'm just so happy that everything worked out perfectly for Amanda and Jeff. Yeah, I think that's it. This was just a very long weekend and I'm still so tired. I'm going to end this vlog. I hope you guys had an amazing Easter today. It doesn't even feel like Easter to me today. I was like like all over the place and exhausted and I didn't go to church and all that but regardless I hope everyone had a great Easter thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next vlog